check out one of the easiest ways to order custom foam for your miniatures. Spiky bits. Welcome back, hobby maniacs. We are gonna take a look at one of the easiest ways out there to order custom foam solutions for pretty much any tabletop game out there that you might play that's way easier than you thought. Now, Feldher is an amazing foam manufacturer. I've known about their cases for quite a few years. The only problem was, A, they're in Germany, and B, they're pretty much in Germany. <laughs> Germany's really far. It's really difficult to order things from Europe that are big and bulky. A lot of times you get them and you know there's extra shipping, it takes a while, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But they have really cool options for foam storage, a lot of laser cut custom uh, bags and trays and all sorts of stuff out there. And this stuff's very resilient. I've seen, I've seen people with the same bags year after year after year that happen to pick them up at a trade show and they just hold on to them. But now Feldhorn is on Amazon and you can literally order their products right off Amazon Prime here in the States. Of course, if you live in Europe, of course you can order from Germany. Well, we're not crazy. <laughs> Just order them from their website, but here in the States for you know a lot of people probably watching this video It's easy to order them just off Amazon. So let me show you uh, a few smatterings of Their custom foam for some of the projects that I'm working on right now that I think may also interest you This is their medium sized bag and it's kind of a plug-and-play type bag for all of their custom foam or just their normal troop kind of slotted foam whatever you get Generally, there's an option to get this medium sized bag right here, which can hold uh, one stack of full trays or two stacks of half trays, which I'm about to show you. Now, I, I will tell you, as easy as this stuff is to order, getting used to the millimeter and the metric system is, it's a little, it's a little weird, but fortunately we have the internet and you can just convert uh, millimeters to inches pretty easily. Um, just keep in mind that one, uh, 25 millimeters is pretty much an inch for the most part, so you can definitely approximate there for your particular needs. This is all of the, uh, this is the bag that comes with all the Shade Spire uh, foam trays. Now, I don't think this one's available on Amazon, although you can get the individual trays, which I'll show you here in a second over on Amazon. Oh, and one of the things I like about this too, and I'm sure there's some folks out there that can appreciate this, is it has these little studs right here on the bottom. Cause you know, sometimes you put down your bags and they just like fall over or you're worried about them getting crudded up because you put it on the ground in your driveway, you know, apartment, stairwell, outside your door, whatever. These points of contact right here are gonna give you pretty solid support, but they're also, you know, pretty sturdy. Like they're really in there. And the canvas, I don't think this is a canvas. I forget what they call this, but it all seems pretty sturdy. I mean, I've been messing with the zippers and they have their own personal zippers right there with the Feldher F on it, very cool. And you know, they don't seem bust or anything. The zippers all seem like really good quality. For the most part, I don't see any mess ups in the stitching or anything. And as far as that goes, I don't think there's anything bad. And it does come with a shoulder strap, but I already removed it out of there because you know, we know there's a shoulder strap and you can adjust it. And also, why these aren't metal clasps here, I haven't seen a metal clasp come from a carrying case in a very long time. <laughs> Probably since the 90s, since I bought my old GW Messenger bag. So this one right here, like I said, I think it goes for about $70 on their website, but you can get the smaller uh, mini bags from them off of Amazon. There's a little uh, foam insert so your stuff doesn't go all flying everywhere, which I think is pretty neat. And I like the nice red color on the inside too. It's, uh, you know, it's very, very stunning, very striking. It's all interior stitch. Now this is a soft case, so don't sit on your case. Like I say, it, <laughs> you, you will destroy your miniatures. But other than that, it's got the custom uh, trays in here. Now, a lot of times, you know, folks are like, oh, you know, I don't like getting the stuff because it pulls, you know, I just pop it right off and it's gone. This actually is laser cut. Like I said, I'm assuming it's laser cut. They didn't tell me it was laser cut or anything. But uh, just by looking at it, it definitely looks laser cut. So you don't have to worry about anything separating there uh, like that as far as that goes. And they've got all the custom war bands or all the war bands for Shadespire. They do have Night Vault over on their site. They don't have them here in the States yet. You know, there's a little bit of a lag as they ship product over to the Amazon warehouses and such. But um, as far as 
standard measurements go, uh, it's, the bag is about 15 inches long by about 11 inches tall. And it holds uh, approximately, I'm going to say about 7 inches. Yep, 7 inches on the dot, deep in foam. Now, I've already preloaded one of these with some of the Shadespire stuff, just so you can see how well it kind of fits. And there it is. It looks great. The guys have plenty of clearance. This foam is super soft and you don't have to worry about if you know your guys kind of butt up against it. And what I really like about it is that there's a little bit of clearance there for the miniature so you don't have to worry as you're grabbing. I'm not even looking at the bag itself. I'm looking through the camera. That's how confident I am. I'm not gonna destroy my miniature because this isn't cut so tight of a tolerance. You ever get that laser cut foam and it's like, you're barely wedging the miniature in. It's so annoying. I hate it. Sometimes I have to put bubble wrap and I'm like, what's the point of buying custom foam if I got to put bubble wrap? But nope, Felder has you covered here. It's uh, great looking stuff. And it's, as you can see right there, very, very functional. Another product that's super helpful from Felder is these little magnetic boxes. And they're, they're a hard box, you, you know, this is a great solution for just grabbing a couple of things and going down to the game store and playing. It's got a magnetized clasp, so, you know, there isn't like a super complicated uh, system to keep this thing closed. There's just magnets, they're gonna work, it's like magic, right? This is their blue box, and it holds pretty much two half trays. Now they have this one here that holds, uh, what is that, one, two, three, 24 figures, I think it is, inside this protective a protective box right here and then of course remember two of those would go in their medium size bag but what's nice about this one and they sell it with all sorts of different uh, things that can kind of come in it depending on what you want to do it's the you know 11 by the half size is going to be about seven inches tray and then this particular loadout gives you lots of room for miniatures now if you need to you know there's all the diff all different sizes if you got some crazy you know, maybe Sigmar thing like this, you might want to think about just kind of plucking a little bit of that so you can actually fit them in. Or they have some longer, taller uh, foams that we're about to show you here in a second on an another one. Or you can even get, remember I said these hold two stacks. You can even get the Shadespire and stuff to go in here as well. You just have to get the custom one that, that fits it with the right measurements. But all of the stuff fits together into their system right here. Sometimes when it comes to the hobby, you have accidents, happy little accidents. <laughs> this is one of them. This is their one, they call it, so they call their boxes 150 and one, that's millimeters. So it's about six inches, which you get that right there. That's probably about six inches. So all their boxes have uh, different configurations. So it's a hard, it's a cardboard box. Let's be real. It's a cardboard box, but it gives you more protection than, you know, just throwing stuff in a loose whatever and just kind of going down to the game store and they have laser cut trays in here. But what happened was I was staging all this stuff uh, behind me and I just happened to turn around. There was a cat. I dodged the cat, but I stepped on the foam. But the happy accident here is you can see where I definitely, my foot definitely kind of pressed into here, but here's the thing. So it bent the, it bent the, the cardboard, the cardboard took the brunt of it, but look at the foam right here. The foam pretty much just bounced back. So I'm imagining that the pressure of my foot kind of went into the corner right here and pushed everything down. So whatever figures were probably in this corner, might have taken a little bit of damage, but overall probably would not have been super impacted judging by the size right here, which is really cool to see because this is, this, it doesn't appear to be very thick foam, but look at it. It's, well, let me see if I can show it to you. It's got multiple layers in there. So it is actually sturdy, even though it isn't quite corrugated. So I kind of, I kind of dug that. I was like, well, how much damage did I do to it? Oh, not that bad. Now, like I was saying with these boxes, you can load them out however. Now there's uh, some different trays. These are all the standard trays, and I think there's 36 to each one. So you get about, what, 144 different figures in here, and this is all your uh, larger figures at 25 mil, or you could get some bigger ones at 32 mil, or some of those crazy different sized ones with a little bit of tearing. You could probably fit them in there, but again, sometimes stuff like this is probably gonna need uh, its own uh, 
dedicated solution, so to speak, unfortunately. But there's other tray sizes as well if you want to fit uh, more things into here. Okay, so still same size box, 150, so that's six, six inches tall right there, obviously. Not damaged, <laughs> brand new. Here you can kind of see a couple of things real quick. Let's go over this. So this is kind of a precursor to what will come in here. You'll get a bigger piece of foam, but there's something really cool I like about this, and I'll talk about that in here in a second. Also, this is the uh, handle. So you just put this behind here, and you kind of interlock it like this so you can have your little handle or you don't have to install it if you don't want to okay i swear i can do this i'm supposedly an engineer there you go that's how you make the handle so that is that assembly right there and here you can see that this is going to come pre uh well ready to be plugged now this fits into the medium bag which we showed you maxi messenger hard case and transporter we don't have any of those things so there's a whole system for you guys to check out over at felder we don't have any of that. Like I said, they sell some of it on Amazon, but some of them you might have to go uh, direct over to Feldhurt. Here's some stuff on the back. And this is what I was kind of talking about. So they give you uh, this little grid work right here. So if you want to make punch out some custom foam, well, you can kind of lay down your thing here and sketch it out in pencil, and then you know which ones to pluck. And then they give you specific instructions on how to pluck it. But this is what I think is really cool and what kind of sets them apart from all the other solutions out there, right? This comes like as a two part. So this piece right here, there's your there's your foam to pluck out, but you're not locked in. You, you're not locked in until you remove this adhesive and you push it down. And that way you're not pulling and plucking. Like I said, sometimes when you pull and pluck, you pull out the wall next to it and you're like, dang it. So this way you have a lot more control over it. And then you put the sticker adhesive onto this bottom insert right here which gives you way more control now as far as how high is this well it's about two and a half inches i believe let me double check yeah it's about oh hold on let me not squish it yeah it's about two and a half inches when you factor in the bottom piece that's going to be right there but for all intents and purposes whatever you're going to put on here has to be about that big now of course the picture showed you a bane blade which was perfectly fine, <laughs> but I don't have a main blade handy. What I do have is a shadow sword, which is gonna be too tall, but don't hold that against me. So there you can see the shadow sword barely is too tall, but hey, we can't win them all. If you have a octo bane blade where you magnetize it all together, then chances are that will fit in here, but unfortunately this one is attached. Now, the other cool thing about this is it's gonna hold a lot of different vehicles. Like you can probably get your Telemon Dreadnoughts in here, a bunch of those, any uh, Leviathans, obviously Lehman Russes, any large vehicle tanks. You could probably get at least six in here. You might be able to squeeze, you might be able to squeeze in a bit more. Land Raiders probably not gonna work, but you always wanna check the foam depth. Remember, this stuff's gonna be in millimeters not inches so you're gonna to have to do a little bit of converting if you're not familiar with it and check this out there's still foam at the bottom so you could in theory possibly get a 2000 to 1500 point army in here depending on you know what faction and what all comes with it now these trays right here are the shorties with some of the bigger ones on there so you get a lot more space in here because each one of these is nine and now you're talking there's five to a row so <laughs> this particular tray is gonna fit a lot more in here uh, than the other one. So if you get a box full of these, you can fit this uh, box full of these as opposed to this tray right here, which holds 36, you're gonna get a whole nine extra. So there's 90 in these two trays right here. And remember, you could fit two more in here. So you're talking 180. So maybe for some of you orc players out there, this would be a good solution. Anything with mass number of miniatures would be perfect for this right here. And like I said, super easy to order. Just go over to Amazon, type in Feldher, spelt with two R's right here. Immediately, one of those boxes we showed you pops up. That's the one with uh, the larger bottom right there for tanks and the top with the 236 trays right here. So 72 for $39.99. Pretty affordable storage solution, custom. It'll fit a lot of things. And in theory, you could get 150, uh, pot potentially 2,000 points in there, depending on what faction it is. And then from there, it kind of goes up and goes down. Here's the, you know, the larger medium cases and things like that. And then if you're looking for some of the custom boxes, like we showed you, the blue boxes that hold 32 miniatures, 
with the magnetic clasp, that's them. And then if you're looking for something specific, they have all sorts of bags for board games. They've got, you know, we can just type in Shadespire, can show you the smaller single warband ones they have with the green. This will fit whichever version you want right here or faction. You can also get the inserts for the boxes. There is a whole bunch of products on here uh, available from Felder for pretty much any of the needs that you might have out there when it comes to foam uh, storage from board games to tabletop. Uh, they pretty much got you covered and most of it, if not all of it, is only a prime shipment delay <laughs> away. Uh, some cases tomorrow, some cases Thursday, some cases Friday. Uh, today is, I don't even know, what's today? Tuesday. Today is Tuesday. We're recording on a Tuesday. So that's it. Pretty easy to get. Super affordable, uh, custom foam storage options for your tabletop board games as well as miniature games as well. Make sure you check them out, Feldher. And if you don't see something you're looking for here, you can check out their website, feldher.net. Uh, but just keep in mind, that's going to probably ship out of Germany. <laughs> Spiking bits.